Hey guys, today on the Home Winemaking Channel, I'm going to talk about cold stabilization, when you want to do it, why you would want to do it, and how. Uh, so you've probably heard people say, make sure your wine is cold stable before you bottle it, or you'll hear some old timers say, throw your wine outside or throw it in the garage uh, during the winter to, to stabilize it. And if you're new, you might not actually know what that even means or why to do it. And the, the reason you would want to do something like that is uh, when you have a wine that is intended to be refrigerated or uh, a wine that will never really see very cold cellaring temperatures before it's bottled, um, what can happen when it actually does see cold temperatures is some potassium bitartrate can uh, crystallize in the wine. So it's basically the tartaric acid can turning into or crystallizing into potassium bitartrate. And it can settle into these bitartrate crystals, which are a little bit unsettling, but it's basically just cream of tartar. So it's not harmful. It doesn't really have any real taste to it, but it's something you don't really want to give someone a bottle of wine that's full of these little crystals. And I can kind of show you what they look like because I've got a wine here that's just got a tiny bit um, hopefully you can see this. I'll shine this light on it. But in here, there's these little, almost like sand looking things in this wine. And I mean, again, it's not a big deal. If you drink a bottle of it, just leave them on the bottom. It's not the end of the world. But it's just something you really just don't want to present to somebody. So the question then is, um, how do I prevent that? And of course the answer, you can probably guess it, is cold stabilization. Uh, but then the next question is exactly how do I cold stabilize my wine? And it's really, really very easy to do. Uh, it just sometimes requires a piece of equipment that you might not have, and that's an extra refrigerator or access to reasonably cold temperatures. Um, so in this case, I've got an extra refrigerator and, and it's the springtime now, so I can't really take advantage of winter temperatures, so I use my refrigerator. And uh, I've got, I know I've already got a tiny bit of tartrate crystals in the bottom of this wine, so I'm not going to seed it. But when I say seed it, what you can do is you can add a little bit of actual cream of tartar crystals to the wine, and that'll just give something for those other crystals to kind of form to and it'll kind of accelerate the process. So literally you would go to the store and buy cream of tartar crystals and add say a quarter of a teaspoon of them to a wine uh, like this six gallon wine before you would go and uh, put it in your cold temperature. So not 100% necessary but it kind of helps speed the process up. And then the next thing you want to do is you really, as far as temperature goes, you really the colder the better so the closer you can get that to you know the 20 to 30 degrees F range or ne negative a few degrees C uh, the closer you can get to those temperatures the better but you of course don't want to freeze the wine um, but yeah if you can get to those temperatures and keep it at those temperatures for one to two weeks you're really in business and what that's gonna do is it's gonna precipitate out all those uh, bitartrate crystals um, and it's actually going to ever so slightly um, reduce the tartaric acid in that wine, which in the case of this particular wine, this is a Concord and it's a little bit acidic. And uh, my first thing I'm going to just, just do before I make any acid adjustments is I'm going to cold stabilize and see what that does for me because it might get me where I need to be. Uh, but what we're going to do right now is I'll just go ahead and throw it in my spare refrigerator. All right, so I got my spare fridge here, and uh, unfortunately, where I've got my shelf mounted right now is a little bit too low to fit the the airlock, which no big deal. I'm just gonna throw a solid bung on this for now, um, and I'll just keep an eye on it. And as I shake it up every once in a while, I'll make sure I vent it because I really don't feel like moving my uh, shelf. I got it full of wine. But I've turned my fridge all the way up to 9 right here, and I know historically I can get this thing down to about uh, 27 degrees Fahrenheit, which is perfect for a situation like this. And what I'll do is I'll just, every couple days, I'll come down here and just kind of swirl this up as good as I can, just to try to 
uh, move around those bitartrate crystals and expose it to as much wine in here as possible and accelerate this whole process. But uh, what I'll do is uh, in a couple weeks I'll post an update video so that you guys can see uh, all the tartrate crystals that'll be on the bottom of this wine because what I'll do is I'll rack it off at that point. Uh, so hopefully this is a pretty cool technique that you're going to need or want to use. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, hit the little subscribe button in the bottom left hand corner and uh, make sure you uh, tell anyone who's into wine about my channel. Uh, thanks for watching.